Hi, I'm Sean Arnold, and this is another brief, brave attempt in learning. We're going to be exploring how to get started with Minecraft Education Edition. Hey there, everybody. If you're unaware, Minecraft here has an Education Edition. Some of us teachers, we were using it well before that, but this takes one of the most popular games ever and makes it more available and accessible for teachers. And it gives students the ability to create in an almost unrivaled capacity. It's kind of like digital Legos except that you're probably not gonna step on one. Uh, I'm gonna help you get through the setup with Minecraft Education Edition in about five relatively easy steps. So, step one, let's go ahead and get the software. Now, right now, the Education Edition only works on Windows, Mac OS, and iOS, so I'm um, sorry for you Chromebook folks. Uh, there is a thing you can do with Linux and regular Minecraft, but uh, we're not gonna get into those complications right now. So you can either download it from the App Store on your iPad or go to education.minecraft.net, head to support and select download and go ahead and get the version that you need. Then you can just follow the install instructions for your system. It'll need to be installed on each device where it's being used. So there is no web version for this yet. Uh, step two, go ahead and set up your accounts. This part's a little tricky as you have to have Office 365 and then your admin can create teacher and student accounts and then provision Minecraft licenses. The good news is that part probably has already been done for you and it's free for many schools and it's always free to try. So let's just forge ahead and assume that's done. Step three, now it's time to log in. Go ahead and open up the software type in your Microsoft account uh, for New York City Department of Education folks. That's just your citywide student and teacher logins, all right? Feel free to take all the time you want now to click the hanger and choose all the pretty outfits you might want for your character. But when you're ready, all you gotta do is hit play. Now, step four, I recommend heading over to this library first and starting with a tutorial. It'll give you a basic understanding of what's possible and available in the Education Edition. Then step five, time to start your lessons. You don't need to be all that good at Minecraft to teach with Minecraft. It's okay if you're a noob, all right? You just need to know what your goals are. I highly recommend starting with some of these build challenges, but the only real limits are the imaginations of you and your students. For example, here, I worked alongside my students with disabilities to focus on crafting a world that is accessible for other people with disabilities to help encourage my students to be self-advocates in the real world. And don't worry, anything you break in Minecraft can easily be rebuilt, and support is available even directly in the game with the built-in feedback button. So uh, what are you and your students gonna create? 